good morning children today we are going to discuss about the formation of early molecules by the oper and holden experiment is there or not the miller's experiment oper and holden experiment like that chemical theory of origin of life in that formation of early molecules we will discuss okay first what is this formation of early molecules prokaryotes eukaryotes what are those you know aggregates coeservates ebionts like that is there or not coeservates and ebionts like that is there right that one we are going to discuss observe very carefully first first starting there will be earth was originally a hot gaseous mass first what earth is hot very hot gaseous mass very hot gaseous mass this is important hot gaseous mass so very hot conditions are there at the primitive earth so heavy elements the heavy elements like iron first one what iron then second one is nickel iron and nickel sank to the center then it came to center aluminium silica towards the middle and the lighter elements such as what you called what are the lighter elements such as nitrogen oxygen carbon hydrogen formed the early atmosphere so what together the iron nickel aluminium silica nitrogen oxygen carbon hydrogen formed the which one early atmosphere this is important next one when the temperature of earth cooled down when the temperature of earth cooled down to less than 100 degree centigrade then what happened these elements combined to form gaseous molecules these all these elements combined to form which one gaseous molecules gaseous molecules like which one water vapor okay carbon dioxide hydrogen and methane so as the earth cooled down further the solid crust very very important as the earth cooled down further it developed a solid crust depressions and elevations depressions and elevations also formed were formed on its surface meanwhile <coughs> meanwhile the atmosphere also formed so atmosphere very very important water vapors condensed and came to surface as a rain atmosphere water vapor condensed and came to surface as a rain but evaporated immediately after coming contact with the hot earth contact with the hot earth continued further so this coming and evaporating coming and water rain is falling and evaporating rain is formed because of hot earth continued for centuries so like that at last because of that what happened the earth surface become 50 to 60 the simple organic molecules present in the water bodies interact each other that time water bodies are there in the water what are those simple organic molecules another to form simple organic molecules such simple sugar fatty acids what you called sugar as there fatty acids are there okay these all are simple sugar simple materials together they form this materials okay that one you have to remember so simple organic molecules such as simple sugar fatty acids glycerols amino acids okay what you called ah oh, come on simple sugars fatty acids glycerol amino acids purines pyrimidines purines and pyrimidines so the energy for this reaction was provided by for whom this all reactions interactions provided energy required who provided electric discharges during lightening of the clouds electric discharge when will come lightening time clouds so even ultraviolet rays and heat of the earth ultraviolet rays and heat of the earth also very useful that time for this all chemical reactions so simple molecules so this all water bodies interacted in the one another and to form simple organic molecules so all water bodies interacted and forms which one simple sugar fatty acid glycerol amino acids purines and pyrimidines so next important one is another important point to remember is the spontaneous formation of complex organic compounds 
the spontaneous formation of complex organic compounds spontaneous formation of complex organic compounds this is important the spontaneous formation spontaneously simple what you call formation of organic compounds are there how the simple organic molecules combine to form simple organic molecules to combine to form large organic molecules for example here they mentioned you see simple sugars convert into starch amino acids convert into proteins fatty acids convert into fat so they accumulated in the water bodies then they will be formed molecular aggregates like coservates eubionts then first living cell pro what you call protocells were eubionts are protocells first living cells formed so this is the a complete mechanism behind the chemical evolution or uh, chemical theories okay that one you should have to remember okay children so once again we will be discuss about what is this complete concept first observe very carefully chemical we are discussing about chemical theory of origin of life we discuss different different theories spontaneous generation theory a biogenesis theory biogenesis theory and uh, for special creation okay super powers created the life like the different different theories we discussed but almost worldwide accepted theory is which one that is chemical theory of origin of life chemical theory of origin of life first uh, this chemical theory of origin of life who developed uh, you know very well alexander opera in 1923 jvs halden in 1928 they they discovered how the formation of ergodic molecules they showed first the heavy elements iron nickel sank to the center aluminum and silica towards the middle and lighter elements nitrogen oxygen carbon hydrogen formed the early atmosphere so middle uh, what is called sank to the center and what is called middle and uh, what is called formed uh, this all together which one iron remember this names iron nickel aluminum silica nitrogen oxygen carbon hydrogen formed the early atmosphere this point you should have to remember formed the early atmosphere okay the next important thing is temperature of earth cooled down to less than 100 degree centigrade temperature temperature of earth cooled down to less than 100 degree centigrade temperature that point you should have to remember so then what happened these all elements combined to form the gaseous molecules okay to form gaseous molecules like water vapor carbon dioxide hydrogen and methane as earth cooled down further it forms the solid crust depressions okay came to the surface and okay came solid crust depressions and elevations are there then where formed on its surface very very important elevations were formed elevations are were formed on the surface formed on its earth surface okay this is the most important point to remember okay formed on meanwhile the atmosphere water vapor atmosphere vapor vapor is there or not condensed and came to surface as a rain but evaporated immediately rain is coming and evaporated immediately rain evaporation so why this all condensation happened because uh, cool down the uh, atmosphere so condensation of water vapors and uh, came down as a came to surface of the earth as a rain but what happened the time very hot condition right earth evaporated immediately when rain is falling evaporation rain evaporated immediately so after coming in the contact with the hot earth evaporation so this continued rain evaporation rain and evaporation continued for centuries it's not a one day or two day or one week two week or one month two month not continuously the rain is falling but uh, rain is whatever the how much rain water is reaching the earth that is because of hot nature of earth evaporated continuous rain evaporation so because of that nature that kind of uh, what you call consequences the earth temperature surface cooled down 50 to 60 degrees centigrade so okay now the earth temperature came down 50 to 60 degree centigrade temperature so simple inorganic molecules that time what happened 
द रेन वाटर रीच द एर्थ ओके द सिंपल इनआर्गानिक मालिक्यूल प्रसेंट इन द वाटर बॉडी इंट्राक्ट विथ वन अनदर फॉर्म सिंपल इनआर्गानिक मालिक्यूल सिंपल इनआर्गानिक मालिक्यूल प्रसेंट इन द वाटर बॉडी इंटराक्ट विथ ईच अदर ओके सिंपल इनआर्गानिक मालिक्यूल प्रसेंट इन द वाटर बॉडी वाट एप एंड द फॉर्म सिंपल इनआर्गानिक बॉडी फॉर्म एंड वाट एप एंड सिंपल आर्गानिक मालिक्यूल फॉर्म इन आर्गानिक कन्वर्टेड इन टू कमांटल इन आर्गानिक मालिक्यूल प्रसेंट इन द वाटर बॉडी इंटराक्टेड with another and formed which one the simple organic molecules present in the water bodies okay simple organic molecules what are the simple organic molecules so one second i am telling simple inorganic molecules present in the water bodies interacted each other and simple mo organic molecules okay simple organic molecules formed what are the simple organic molecules this is important simple organic molecules simple organic molecules that one you should have to remember what are the simple organic molecules come on here i am writing here i wrote simple inorganic to organic molecules what are those simple sugars fatty acids glycerol amino acids purines pyrimidines inorganic convert into organic simple sugars fatty acids glycerol amino acids purines pyrimidines what is simple sugar like glucose fatty acids you know saturated unsaturated fatty acids glycerol you know very well amino acids you know essential amino acids and non essential amino acids the essential amino acids what are the essential amino acids come on tell in solution leucine lysine like that is there or not so such kind of amino acids then purines what are the purines adenine and guanine are the purines then cytosine thymine uracil are the pyrimidines so like this what happen simple inorganic molecules present in the water interact one another form simple organic molecules what are the simple organic molecules such as hmm simple sugars fatty acids glycerol amino acids purines pyrimidines purines and pyrimidines there that one so formed the energy for these reactions then for react with the inorganic to organic formed or not for energy for this all formation inorganic to organic who provided the energy that is important who provided the energy that is the most important point to remember who provided the energy so the energy source is the time lightning what is that one lightning the clouds the ultraviolet rays and heat of the earth so this all the lightning so lightning means you know very well how much electricity will be generate too much electricity electric discharges so that discharges and ultraviolet rays of the sun and the heat of the earth this all energy or uh, heat energy sources helpful to what happen simple inorganic molecule present in the water bodies interacted with one another form the simple organic molecule so this all formed because of the those energy sources what are the energy sources come on tell the energy sources electrical discharges during lightning clouds formation ultraviolet rays and heat of the earth next spontaneous formation of complex organic compounds so how this uh, spontaneously the no simple organic compounds converted into complex organic compounds simple means you know very well amino acid simple what is a complex protein fatty acid simple fat is a complex like that the spontaneous naturally spontaneously what happened complex organic compounds simple organic molecules to form large organic molecules this is a very important for example simple sugars simple sugars convert into starch amino acids convert into proteins fatty acids convert into fat so they all accumulated in the water bodies they all where they are accumulated this is starch proteins fats accumulated in the water bodies purines and pyrimidines okay then forms the molecular aggregates that molecular aggregates okay this molecular colloidal aggregates called so what are called 
colloidal aggregates called coaser weights coaser weights converted into next coaser weights are there coaser weights are also called what is the name another name of coaser weights that is important another name of coaser weights okay the another name of coaser weights is microspheres micro spheres that is important so another name of coaser weights is micro spheres so these are formed the coaser weights are these micro spheres carried with which one enzymes okay this is important these enzymes okay these enzymes very very important so what happened the simple phosphates phosphate plus sugar plus nitrogen base okay sugar plus nitrogen base they have which combined to form together to form which one nucleotides you know very well nucleotides means phosphates sugars nitrogen purines and pyrimidines so nucleic acids nucleotides then nucleotides convert into you know very well nucleic acids nucleic acids what are the nucleic acids you know very well rna and dna formed so like this then the nucleic acid and rna is there in the sense what you call that proto bionts proto proto cells eo bionts okay eo bionts are proto cells are originated first living cells are originated so microspheres plus enzymes phosphate sulfur uh, sugar nitrogen bases nucleotides formed the nucleotides nucleotides to nucleic acid rna dna so rna dna containing that cellular aggregate called eo bionts they are nothing but what you called first proto cells were originated first proto cells were originated on the earth so these points you should a must and should you should have to remember how the first cells are originated simple sugars convert into starch amino acids convert into proteins fatty acids convert into fat so they accumulated in the water bodies then forms the molecular aggregates like coaser weights coaser weights nothing but microspheres this microspheres plus enzymes phosphate sugar nitrogen base forms the nucleotides the nucleotides to nucleic acids so nucleic acid containing those all aggregates are what you are calling eo bionts eo bionts are first living cells eo bionts are nothing but what first living cells so like this there is the uh, what you call first living cells formed on the earth so this theory worldwide accepted this theory accepted worldwide so in this what are the neat bits number 1 this first neat bit is oparen halden oparen halden are the great scientists so hot gas first what is the condition hot gas is mass then formed atmosphere what are the first hot gas masses which are consists of earth iron nickel is there okay next what is there aluminum silica is there aluminum and silica is there first earth on the earth hot masses aluminum and silica is also there so uh, nitrogen oxygen carbon hydrogen also there so like that cool down the temperature then 100 degrees centigrade to so much hot temperature to the earth because of this segregations because the formation of this atmosphere cool down 100 degrees centigrade then gases molecules then water vapors carbon hydrogen carbon dioxide hydrogen and ch methane as the earth cool it down because of this all gases cool it down then solid crust is formed depressions and elevations on the earth so the atmosphere water vapors condensed and came to the surface the rain rain coming but uh, operating coming and uh, evaporation is going on so later the earth temperature cooled down 50 to 60 the simple inorganic molecules converted into simple organic molecules sugar fatty acids glycerol amino acids purines and pyrimidines that energy source is electrical discharge during lightning clouds so ultraviolet rays and heat of earth also energy source then spontaneous formation of complex organic molecules simple sugars convert into starch amino acid proteins fat acid fatty accumulate in the water bodies molecular aggregates coaser weight coaser weights called microspheres plus enzymes then phosphorus sugar nitrogen base forms a nucleotides nucleotides convert into nucleic acids rna and dna so rna dna containing all the cells are called eo bionts are first 
living cells like that the first living cells formed on the earth about the, this theory is called chemical theory of origin of life